It's time for a new evolution in raising golfers, one that doesn't involve headaches, tears, or heading down the path of unknown. Whether you're trying to introduce children to the game of golf, help them play competitively, or play at a collegiate level, you're in the right place. This show is for any parent, player, or coach who wants to build a better team at home and on the golf course. This is the Raising Golfers Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raising Golfers Podcast. I'm your host, Travis Housley, PJ professional here in Carlsbad, California. Looking forward to a week off at the academy and going to spend some quality time with the family and actually played golf my first morning off at a local golf course here, Goat Hill. It was a lot of fun. Played with two of my good friends. We walked the course and we really enjoyed it and we have the rest of the day to spend our time with our family, which is great. Today's episode, I'm going to be talking about what I believe are the fundamentals of golf, and they've certainly changed in my mindset over the years from when I started as a player, then began coaching, and to where I am today. And the reason I talk about this is that I get this question brought up a lot from students or parents of students who come and they say they just want their kid to learn the fundamentals. So I'm going to talk about a couple of different things, and I hope you leave with a more clear and concise idea of what these fundamentals are and hopefully that kind of helps you and gears you in the right direction to simplify your thoughts on what it is that actually you need to be thinking about. So I'm going to get into, you know, just think for a second, what are the fundamentals of golf? I want you to pause and just kind of think like what is important, right? And then maybe think, you know, what really isn't important? And you know, I think the, the 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 unfortunate truth here is that everything's important. However, not everything is important right now. And we have to think about, you know, what it is that we need now and what's going to help us best. So let's talk about different phases of golfers. So I'm going to go into really, I, I guess this would cover most golfers, but this is how I would look at somebody who's coming for a private golf lesson. So let's just say this golfer is upper intermediate. You know, the reason why they're coming for a private golf lesson is that they're driven, they want to take their game to the next level. So the first fundamental that I believe somebody should have is the ability to control where the club hits the ground. And I think that's the most important one. Now, if you think about yourself or any of your children or other players that you have seen, just think about that. If the club hits the ground just before hitting the golf ball, it's probably not going to fly very far and probably not going to fly optimally. Optimally, If your club never hits the ground and you hit the upper equator of the golf ball, well, you're going to have a top. That's not going to work out either. And so what I believe we should be striving for is trying to hit the ball first and then the ground second for most of the shots. Now, you know, talking about short game, you know, you, we, it, it changes a little bit, but at the same time, you still need to control where the club hits the ground. And I think that's the most important thing that most golfers that I see that fall anywhere between beginner to upper intermediate level players, this is where they need to be focusing a lot of the time. It's controlling where the club is the ground, ball first, ground second. And now let's hear a message from our show sponsor. Hey guys, this last spring I teamed up with Operation 36 here at our facility in Carlsbad, California, and it has completely changed my way of coaching and service to my customers. Operation 36 is a developmental golf program designed to take beginners from playing their first round to being able to shoot par or better for nine holes. So here's how it works. Participants attend weekly one-hour classes and work through a six-level curriculum. They then play in nine-hole events once or twice a month, with a common goal to shoot 36 or better from different distances. And using the Operation 36 app, coaches can plan programs, communicate with families, and track students' progress. It's really, really cool. If you're a parent listening, search for a program near you on their website at operation36.golf forward slash juniors. And coaches, if you'd like to start a program at your facility, go to the same website, operation36.golf forward slash coaches. Now, the next important fundamental which I would say if the first one is 80% checked off, let's look at how do we control the direction and the curvature of the ball. And so assuming that we're now getting the ball in the air, we're getting it to go the optimal distance. Now we need to be able to control how the ball comes off the club face, the direction it goes, and then it's curvature. And then I would say the last one would be is does the student or the player have enough distance to play 
the tees that they're currently playing from on the golf course. So those would be what I believe are the three fundamentals of golf. I, I didn't create this. This actually came from Stack and Tilt. If you aren't familiar with Stack and Tilt, I highly recommend you check out the information that they, that they have and provide. And I've learned numerous things from Andy Plummer, who is one of the co-founders of Stack and Tilt. And I've taken his seminar course multiple times when I was out in China. And I still review and reflect on the information that I've learned from this system. And if you've heard of Stack and Tilt, and you're kind of thinking, eh, I don't know about that. Well, I would say a lot of it isn't actually what you think it is. So go check them out. Really cool stuff and highly recommend everything that they talk about. So once I learned this, it really helped get my mind clear about what is important in the approach we need to take. Because let's be honest, you know, if you're listening to this podcast and you learned golf, let's just say 30 plus years ago, you're probably thinking everybody needs to learn how to do the grip, the stance and have good posture. That is correct. But I wouldn't say that it's necessarily the most important thing right away because, you know, you could grip it reverse grip or hockey style and you could still control where the club hits the ground. And that would be for me one of the more important things to look at. So I don't think it's necessarily all about starting them out with perfect grip, posture, stance, alignment, all those things, because you could do that and then they never hit the ground or the club hits the ground the wrong spot. So what good did that do you? Not very much from my experience. So those would be the three fundamentals I would look at. And then talking about children specifically, I think it's important that they try many areas and have them try out different areas like grip, stance, posture, all those kinds of things at some point. And again, it doesn't have to be right away and definitely doesn't mean all one lesson at some point in a skills and play based environment. And so we do that with our Operation 36 classes. Each week we have some kind of curriculum and we focus on just that one thing of curriculum. And it starts out at a very basic level and then it builds off of that. And it's worked out really, 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 really well. One of the first things that we do teach though is rank one power in Operation 36, which does teach ball first, ground second contact. And we do that a lot with chipping. The kids get confused and we say, all right, kids, we're going to learn about power today. And they're like, all right, drivers. And then we start doing chipping. And, you know, for a short moment, they're like, oh, but then they start playing some fun games. And so it's, 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 it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. So what I would say is if you're thinking about the fundamentals or, you know, the perfect setup and stance, especially if you're, you know, working with a junior golfer, I'd say don't sweat, don't sweat the small stuff. And I would even say don't sweat the big stuff yet either. You know, at some point, those things will all be important and we will have to refine those things. But you know what? I want to leave you with this. Let's give them time. We have to be patient and allow them to love the game first. And trust me, there is a good chance that many of the things and issues that you see will actually fix themselves. I've seen it day in and day out with junior golfers who stick with the sport. They're enjoying it. They're immersed in the game and they're loving everything about the game of golf. So thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode and look forward to having you here next week on the podcast.